there's a there's a question here I wanted to get to one moment. And uh, selected Silver Sire seventy two zero eight says I have money in a small local community bank with only a few branches. I don't think they invest in commercial real estate. Are these small banks safer than regional banks? We're located in a recession proof part of the country, the DMV. So that's the DC, uh, Maryland, Virginia quadrant around DC. Um, I would say that it pretty much doesn't matter. You should only keep in a bank, you know, what your bills are going to be for the next six months to a year. Um, even if your bank doesn't fail, you're going to be left with dollars that are, are going to be devalued, uh, in a drastic manner. But, my thought process is the banks as a whole are going to collapse. There's not going to be anything standing. I, I guess the best way to say it is, okay, so they don't invest in, in real estate, but there's been a, a global run out of U.S. Treasuries. Your bank definitely holds U.S. Treasuries. So, you know, now they've had their, their balance sheet devalued. Is your bank going to survive if the treasury doesn't? Yeah, that's one of the things is when you talk about systemic risk, and I remember when we interviewed uh, uh, Daniela Martino Booth about this, about uh, so a few years ago, she talked about systemic risk is, is so different from individual counterparty risk that you absolutely rec see it when you, when you uh, recognize it when you see it because it's just sweeping across uh, the system and it's, there's no place to hide for, for any institution that's tied into the system. Uh, we've got, uh, Hey, don't again, let, let me, I'm going to go off topic here, uh, just a little bit because I've gotten a bunch of emails in the last 30 to 60 days, people talking about the Iraqi dinar and the Vietnamese dong, they're going to be revalued and the white hats are in charge. And, you know, Trump is, is still in control of the military. I just want to point out in my opinion, that's all bullshit. I mean, that is all uh, pie in the sky. It's hope. It's hopium. Uh, if Trump was still head of the military, we wouldn't have had 10 million, uh, 10 million illegals or more cross the border. Um, and as far as the, the re these revaluations people are talking about, do you really think that Iraq or Vietnam or, or any country is going to actually make a bunch of speculators wealthy at their expense. I mean, that's uh, it's it's non logic. So I just wanted to throw that in there because I've gotten a bunch of those questions, uh, comments. I've had people, you know, be very disrespectful, telling me I'm an idiot because I don't believe that. I don't believe it. This one's related. Uh, Cletus Smith sixty six fifty two says, "Do you see all the banks collapsing in a domino effect at the same time, or do you think?" some banks or nations will survive intact? Uh, in, in the first go around, yeah, you're probably going to see five or 10 big banks that are supported by, supported by the treasury and they're probably going to make it. And that's their goal. Their goal is to, to uh, foist the CBDC, central bank digital currency on us so that they can watch, see, uh, and even control everything that we do financially. They can see if you buy a stick of bubble gum. Uh, they can watch this interview and shut your account and shut my account off. Um, so yeah, they are definitely going to try to save the big banks. And it, make, it, it makes sense from the standpoint of if they're going to come out with a central bank digital currency, is it easier to do it with 10,000 different banks or 10 different banks with 10 different banks? It's way easier to coordinate and, you know, they can use cover of, well, the system collapsed, but we still have these banks, your money's safe, blah, blah, blah. And then they come up with the uh, CBDC. In addition to banks being part of a collapse, people are concerned about brokerages as well. You have direct experience working as a brokerage manager in the past. There's a question here from Charles Worth, G2684. Given that for stock investments, we are only beneficial owners and not actual owners of the stock shares themselves. If I sold all my stocks but kept the proceeds in my account at the brokerage as cash, could that money then still be taken from my account in the event of a market crash? Can that be used as collateral by the brokerage? 
Yeah, absolutely. Anything that your broker holds is on their balance sheet. Um, and that's, uh, you know, go back, read the great taking, understand that these laws are actually in place. This is not speculation. The laws have been put in place all over the world. And when these institutions go down, you don't actually, uh, it's not a deposit at the bank. Uh, the stocks in a broker are not actually yours. They're on the bank's balance sheet and they will bail your capital in to try to save themselves. And basically, Bill, you've talked to us about this before, that it documents the progression over the past several decades of actual laws being quietly changed, not only in the US, but all around the world, that transfer the actual ownership of uh, stock. In other words, the portion of the company that you own is not really yours. It belongs to the holding company and it's it's indirect and you're a beneficial party and all this sort of thing. But it basically severs between a link between you and the actual ownership. Did you have more to add? Let me put something out there, and this may help some people to understand uh, why or how exactly this, this scam works. So you go to your broker and you deposit $100,000, $1 million, $10 million, whatever, and you do a bunch of trades, and every trade costs you $7.95. Do you really believe that a business model that charges customers to trade a million dollars worth of stock and the commission is $7.95 is actually a business model? I mean, these, these companies have huge skyscrapers. They got private jets. The, the uh, you know, the upper echelon drive around in Lamborghinis. How do they do that? On $7.95 per trade. It, it's, it's an impossibility. The way they do that is you bring your million dollars in, you buy a bunch of stocks, and before the end of the day, those stocks are already lent out. That's how they make their money. They lend them out to short sellers. Uh, they lend them out to be used as collateral. Uh, and if they're lent out, are they, are they yours? I mean, can you understand that concept that if your shares are lent and someone else uh, has control of those and all of a sudden the music stops, are those shares yours? Are they the brokers or are they who the shares got lent to? The only thing I can tell you is they're not yours. And I'll follow up with a reminder for those, please be patient if you've heard me say this before, but for those who haven't, my wife and I, after the dot-com collapse, decided we didn't want to get burnt again. We moved all of our, we sold all of our stocks at our brokerage. We put everything into a, a cash equivalent account at the brokerage uh, and it was FDIC insured. It was earning like less than a quarter of a percent interest. And we asked the brokerage firm, uh, what can we do to get a little bit more yield? And they said, we got a money market account. You can do that. Great. And so we put it in the money market account and we're getting 2% that way. And then after the 2008 uh, Lehman Brothers collapse, we were told, we got this letter from our brokerage saying, until further notice, you won't have access to your funds. And we called them up and said, hey, 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 we weren't involved in any stocks or anything. We were just in a money market. They said, well, your money market on the backside was it was invested in Lehman Brothers and that so they're you're, you're collaterally damaged here and we, until further notice we won't get your funds back and eventually we got little shreds and shreds and shreds and shreds back and every year they call me up and say hey we noticed you haven't been doing many stock trades recently is there anything we can do for you and I said yeah give me my money back and they never got all of it back so it's not your money if you're if they're lending it out on the backside to speculating 